Hi, I'm Josh Ackman with Park Industries Customer Service Department. In this video, we're going to show you what you can do if your spindle head, um, the Voyager, the X, Y, C, um, any of those axes have moved while your table is up in the air. Um, so first thing we'll see here, I'll show you the alarm you'll get if you hit park machine, you try parking it, you'll get this list of alarms. Um, in the top right corner here, we can see our x-axis is not in the park position and our c-axis has moved in this case. So to start out with here, I'm just going to check that the, my table proxes. So you can see at the 03 here, my table up prox is reading, that it knows the table's up, and my down proxes are not reading. So what we're gonna do is make it think it's make it think the table is down and then we'll be able to park our machine and then we'll put everything back on the machine and then we can lower our table down and operate as normal. So to start out with here we'll come next to the table here and the first things we did was we pinned our table so nothing can happen nobody can lower it prematurely here or anything like that. Um, if you cannot get your pins in, you will, and the table is up a little bit, or down a little bit too far to be able to get the pins in, use your proper uh, safety protocols to support that table, making sure that it cannot come down. And if your table is really far down, you will not be able to access down here where our table up prox is. And you will need to remove this side panel, just a bolt here and a bolt down here take that out, you can remove that side panel. And down in here is our spindle, or our table up prox. So we're just going to unscrew the cable from the proximity switch. And we're just gonna set that cable down for right now so that that up prox is not reading anymore. Then here, our down prox, we have one on each side of the table and we are just gonna take a washer and just set it on there for now. And we'll do that to both of the proximity switches for the down. Once you have those reading, then we can come over back to the screen. We're going to double check our inputs here. Okay, now that we're back at the screen, we can see here that our table up prox is not lit up anymore and our table one prox one is lit up and table or prox two is lit up so now once you can make sure you have that we'll come back to our auto screen and i'm going to hit park machine i am going to hold my hand over the e-stop just in case because that table is up but the machine should just park here You can see our position moved and our machine parked. So now we just want to set our proxes back how they were. So we're going to come over, back over to our proxes. Take our flag off of the first prox. Second prox and our first. And then we're just going to connect the cable back up onto our up prox. Okay. Once those are connected again, we will double verify. Our up is reading again. Down is gray. I'm going to make sure I pull my pins out. You do not want to come down onto them pins with the table. Pull them out and then hydraulic pump should start up and we can come down with our uh, table. So now that uh, we have that coming down and everything, should be good. 
As always, if you do have questions along the way, give our customer service department a call and we'll help you out with that. Thank you.